mean everything to me because I know you mean everything to Christ. And Christ means everything to me. And I called on the Lord. I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. And they doing it. One of y'all most D sisters' favorite shows, Bad Girl, right? When you watch them on there, they got money. They can go perform and get paid twenty thousand. They can get an interview off of a podcast and get ten thousand. And their quality and their morals are low. You know what I'm saying? You see the things that they wear on the TV screen because they want a man and they don't value a righteous man. They want they want the best rapper. They want the most stuffed out man. You can see that quality. You can see who they deal with. Christian Rock, these men, sisters, you can't complain about the men that you choose. Only a deadbeat would choose a deadbeat. But getting into these laws and these commandments it makes you following the most high and you are gonna, you're gonna choose a man that follows the most high. You're gonna choose a man that has the morals and the qualities, you know what I'm saying? That you learn. Kamala Khan, you are and, and you are not supposed to choose a man anyway. We broke an out of our tradition anyway. Your father is the best one to choose for you. You know what I'm saying? Kamala Khan is the is the best one to choose from you from the order of the most high. You know what I'm saying? The reason why we're choosing bad because you don't know how to choose a man. Getting back to these laws and these commandments and our tradition and our culture, you know what I'm saying? The real Jews that the Bible speaks of, you black and Hispanic and Native Indian, we get back to giving our fathers, your father, the decision to choose the man for you. And we gonna get some more into it. Uh, give me, get, get back to, uh, give me Ephesians uh, uh, 5 and 22. You know what I'm saying? And we, we previously we went to 1 Corinthians, which was the New Testament. Now we're in Ephesians, which is the New Testament. And I want to give you the New Testament scriptures that correlate with the Old Testament. Because the Christian church, again, let me remind you, they tell you that the Old Testament is done away with. That everything in the Old Testament, the Most High told us to do, we don't do. Now we just follow uh, uh, the Spirit. We just follow the Christian church and whatever spirit they tells us they have. You ask them a question. They supposed to be in the book giving you the answers out of these records, but they'll tell you how they feel. And they'll tell you that they'll back it up when I got the Holy Spirit. The Spirit is leading me. The Spirit told me that, that T.D. Jakes is okay, that he can go to the ditty parties, right? He got the Spirit, nobody is perfect. Well, what's the reason of following a Christian church if nobody is perfect? Why are you teaching if nobody can be perfect? If we'll never get around to getting these laws and commandments down packed, why would you even teach them when nobody can never get them correct? When T.D. Jakes can do what he wished at P. Diddy party because he can never get it correct. The Christian church is a lie. They swindling you. They are in cahoots with the politicians. They need to keep the black man and that black woman and Hispanic man under control. They need to keep you docile. They need to keep you loving everybody. Because we've done too, because they have done too much to you for you to be getting woke, for you to start getting some strength, for you to start getting some knowledge, for you to start loving your home, for you to start separating. But the Holy Bible, the Holy yes, Bible. Give me the some more to it. Yeah, uh, you got that? Read. Uh, 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 Ephesians yes, chapter five, verse twenty-two. Five, verse 22. Five, Wives, verse submit what yourselves unto your own husband. Um, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Right. This goes back to Genesis. Three thousand before 
when it talks about Eve being convinced by the serpent because she wasn't what? Because she wasn't submit. Why submit yourselves unto your own husband? Because she wasn't in submission under Adam and under his laws and, and under the laws that he give her and under the laws of the Most High and the commandments. She was swindled. The word serpent doesn't mean a snake that talks. It also means somebody who is sly, who is conniving, a deceiver. You know what I'm saying? A down low. A slain. A slain. Boy, a serpent. We have we use these words in our hood. We use these words in our neighborhood. When you call somebody a snake, you don't really mean they're snakes. You mean they are low. They do lowly things. They cannot be trusted. Right. They are deceived or a liar. And that's what happened to Eve. Read it from the top. Verse 22. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband. Every woman should be submitting herself unto her husband. That's right. If she has one. You say you want a man of the house. I thought that what it was. I thought when you get married to a man, he becomes the man of the house. Right? You tell the children, I'm going to tell your father because you recognize the authority. You know what I'm saying? That he has in his household. That when dad come home, somebody going to get in trouble. And that is the problem. We don't believe in that no more. We don't follow that. We follow it after all of these other nations. Let them do what they want to do. Let them be them. We don't need to be integrated into everybody's religion into everybody's everything. And that's one of the biggest things with Martin Luther King. Integrating with the other nations had us following their tradition. Had our children acting like their children, wanting to unalive everything. Had our men acting like their men, hopping into this LGBT community. Think about this. We made the term down low. If you think about that, that means it wasn't normal for black and Hispanic men to be indulged in this community. That's why they had the term down low. It would be shameful for everybody to know. So they had to hide. That came from indulging and integrating into these other nations. Let's get back to ours. Let's separate from them. You ain't gotta harm them to separate Separation is a good thing. It gets you to focus on your house. If you think about that with your family, when your kids start following the other children on the block, what do you gotta do? You gotta separate them from the bad friends they had. Right. So they can get back to the order that you want them to do. Right. And the Most High considers the same thing for us. Separation is needed. Separation is needed for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians for us to get ourselves in order. Get back to the scripture. Verse 22, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Verse 23, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Do y'all get that? Y'all know what that means? As unto the Lord. It's meaning your husband is your God. The same way you submit yourself to the to Christ, to God, you submit yourself to your husband in the same way. All that, I love Jesus. You love Jesus? Well, love that husband and follow him like you would follow Jesus. By sub you submitting to your husband is you submitting to Jesus. I mean, sub submitting to the Most High. Women don't serve Christ. They don't serve the Most High because you're not following what he says. You're not submitting to your husband, the head. That's you serving the Most High. That's your order from the Most High to be your husband's helpmate, to submit to him. Read it from the top. Verse 22, wives, submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the Lord. Submit yourselves unto your own husband. Submit. That's a word that you women have a problem with, that our black women have a problem with, submitting. And that's the problem with our children today. This is why 
because our black and Hispanic and native women do not want you to submit unto their husband. Give me this, give me this last scripture. Uh, give me Proverbs 14 and one. <clears throat> and, and, and you not submitting, submitting unto your husband helps you have a comfortable life, right? It, it, it helps you, it, it takes away the stress of life, of you dealing with your children, of you trying to fight your son to get him to do what he say, of you trying to fight with your daughter to get, to get them to do what you say, you know what I'm saying? Of you trying to find a way to fix everything, breaking in stress, and just letting chaos go crazy. And I'm going, you have done your absolute best in raising the children that we have out here today, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't what God wanted. You know what I'm saying? You got that? Read. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 1. Every wise woman buildeth her house, but the foolish plucketh it down with her hands. You not submitting to your husband is plucking your house down. Not following the laws and the commandments of the Most High. This perfect, beautiful order. This perfect, beautiful order. You plucking your house down. You making your own life miserable. And you wonder why you, you can't never make a decision. It's not your duty. It's not your, it's not your role. Submit unto your husbands. And you'll have, in, 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 your, in your house, you build him a house. You will be a wise woman that builded her house, a strong house. Hey, listen, brothers and sisters, man. If you like what you hear, hit the subscribe button, man. Subscribe to this channel. And also, please, go to isubk.com and pay your tithe. Drop me some cash so we can move around this planet like we need to, man, and do the things we need to do. They're one west. They're one west. They're one west. They're Yeah, Babylon is falling